Uh, good evening everyone. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Um, really appreciate the fact that you all make it track. All right? I, hope you, I hope you enjoy browsing by this wonderful place. Um, I really want to thank um, Kenny, the owner of this bookshop, as well as the publisher of uh, Math Paper Press, for publishing uh, my chat book called The Pillow Book. And I uh, definitely want to thank you know, Dominic uh, for including this uh, as part of the lineup for uh, Indignation the Pride Month of, uh, of Singapore, and also for you know, moderating, I guess, any, uh, the, the Q&A uh, the discussion we're going to have afterwards. I hope you will ask lots and lots of questions, <laughs> because that always helps me to think, otherwise I'm not thinking. I um, also really want to thank uh, two other people who are not here tonight, uh, but who are a crucial part of this manuscript, uh, a, a dear friend and poet uh, in New York City, where I live now, called Eric Norris who gave me comments on the manuscript as it was evolving. And also uh, a local Singapore poet, uh, many of you know him, uh, Cyril Wong, who also gave me uh, very uh, precious, valuable editorial comments on the final manuscript as well. Um, you know, so often, you know, um, a, a book is not the product of one person. It has been seen by other people before it came into fruition, and I really have a lot of people to thank. Um, you are too now part of the book, because you're here at this launch at its launch, and uh, I'm very pleased to read from you, uh, for you The Pillow Book. Uh, as many of you uh, uh, may know, uh, The Pillow Book takes its title from a, a classic Japanese work called The Pillow Book of Sai Shonagon. Sai Shonagon was a court lady all right, to the queen uh, in the 10th and 11th century uh, 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 of Japan. All right. And when I read The Pillow Book, I was so taken by her voice that I thought I was really inspired to write uh, in her style. Um, the form in which she writes is called Zuihitsu. I think I'm saying this right. So somebody correct me, please, if you know Japanese and I'm saying this wrong. Uh, Zuihitsu. And uh, it literally means follow the brush. The brush. All right, so it's, it's supposed to be spontaneous. It's supposed to be casual. All right, another name for uh, Zuihitsu is casual jottings. And so my pillow book is a collection of casual jottings uh, about my life here in Singapore and also about my uh, present life in New York City and trying to find, I guess, you know, uh, some, some bridge, some, some steps, some stone, something between the two. Um, so I'm just going to read uh, for you uh, a number of these uh, miscellaneous or spontaneous jottings. <clears throat> I miss my bolster. I miss my bolster, the long pillow held between my legs and hugged to my chest from the time I was born to when I turned 33. I have the impression that it was the same pillow, although this could not be true. Perhaps it stayed the same because the slip would change. A fresh pillow slip smelled not unpleasantly of washing powder. After drying in the sun for hours on a bamboo pole, it was hot to my thighs. I also liked the sensation of it cooling, and later at night, the sensation of warming it in the cleft of my body. There was a dark brown pillow slip with overlapping white squares Another pillow slip was blue with white balloons. My favorite had the pattern of palm leaves. Darren laughed at the bolster when he visited me from England and slept in the same room. We must get you a woman, he said. <laughs> Darren had straw blonde hair and a swimmer's shoulders. At the beach, he pulled on green shorts, the same lime green that Matt Damon flashed in the talented Mr. Ripley. The color picked him out in the crowd. I mean Damon, but I could have been talking about Darren. In the year I turned 33, 
I moved to New York City to find out if I was gay and a poet. For the first time in my life, I bought my own mattress and bed linen. I learned about sizes, full, queen, king. Mine is twin. I have two pillows for the head, but none for the body. I could not find one, but I admit I did not look very hard. I gave the bolster up to get something better. <laughs> Her name was Margaret. I sat with a dying woman in the hospice, and her name was Margaret. She taught me how to use fork and knife at a lunch buffet. She encouraged my writing by buying books for me. She brought me to Christ. Her name could have been Mother. Now she was asking me to promise her something. What was it? What was it? I didn't want to promise it. In a voice frail and fretful, she asked me again and again to promise her, I'm dying and you won't do this. A tree shot up from the broken ground. It raised a crown of shiny leaves. It rolled as rigid as a scepter. His name was good and evil. His name was I am alive. His name was French Pan. The cartoons I loved. The cartoons I loved to trace were Conan the Barbarian. Wrists lashed with ropes to the ankles and Flash Gordon heaving under chains, superhuman strength against unbreakable restraint. Matt tied to his bed. That was the first time I was hard enough to penetrate. To make Wolverine, the adamantine has to go in. Part of uh, Sai Shonagon's style is also um, compiling lists of things. So I imitate that too uh, in the next uh, two sections. Well organized things. A dictionary. A rainforest. A supermarket. A columbarium. columbarium a place to earn the dead is organized for the convenience of the living. The civil service, a place to earn a living, is organized for the dead. The passport office in Singapore, a dragonfly, a quartz. Disorganized things. The botanic gardens after a storm, the apartment after a party. Before the command to come to attention, the enlistees relax in various states of sleep, their rifle slings entangled with their limbs. When I cross the checkpoint in the Johor Bahru, I cannot help observing that the trees that were planted in regimental intervals now sprout in confusion. The city has poured and set around them, and not they for the city. If the trees have given the pleasure of patterning before, they now surprise with their surge of green. Disheveled hair. 